some very, very, very exciting news coming from the NFL today. So up until literally today, we all thought that the Russell Wilson trade saga was dead, dead in the water. But just today, when asked about if he was interested in being trade, direct quote from Russell Wilson, the door is still open. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, Russell, what's going to happen with Russell Wilson? They're, they're, like, think about it right now. The Dolphins, they could get Russell Wilson. Bro. The Bears, they could even get Russell Wilson. The Panthers could get Russell Wilson. Where is he going to go? Bro, he's such an Aaron Rodgers with the comments, too. Like, the door is still open. It's like, man, so fuck cryptic. you, bro. Say it. So say cryptic. it. Say so, it. Yeah, just, 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 just be like, man, fuck the Seahawks. Fuck the 12th, man. I mm-hmm. fucking hate Seattle, and no. I want the fuck and out so, of here. No, I, you know, I'm actually, I'm starting to see some similarities between the Russell Wilson situation and the Carson Wentz situation in Philly. Okay. Why? Yeah. And so, well, so because here's the thing. And so even though like they, I'm beginning to see that this is a relationship that if he's, if he's saying that the door's still open, I think this is a relationship that's broken beyond repair. Absolutely. Yeah. And I agree so, with that. Yeah. You wouldn't just say that if you were still cool with that person. Exactly. And so, and so like point is if like they're thinking about moving on from him, he probably wouldn't be saying this and so right now there are some teams that could make some very realistic offers for russell wilson and so i mean right now the dolphins they have four first round picks and they have a lot of cap space and they have a lot of very young talent and they have two uh to a tackle by the way and so that's someone that they could just do a little swap for don't get me wrong like i would take russell wilson over to a one thousand times out of a thousand i would take a 50 year old russell wilson but, I mean, how realistic is it right now that Russell's going to be still playing for the Seahawks? Well, here's the thing. is like, First of all, they haven't done what he basically just asked. Just get me a line. Just get me a line. Never did it. So that's one thing. I mean, Go how on. hilarious is this? Like, Lip- Reggie, Will- Re- Re- uh, <laughs> or, uh, Reggie Bush at USC is like, hey, uh, get my mom a house. Pete Carroll's like, no problem, Reggie. What house? And then Russell Wilson's like, hey, you know, I'm getting sacked 100 times a game. Can you get me an offensive line? And he's like, I don't know. Yeah, Go fuck sorry. yourself. <laughs> sorry, t- 10 sacks a game is the best it's I can like, do. It's like, bro, at one point they had, a, like, some solid, really good players. Like, Max Unger was a fucking Pro Bowl center, and they traded him away for Jimmy Graham, and then Jimmy Graham was gone within a year and a half. Yeah, oops. Yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. stupid, bro. That was so, so stupid. stupid. Yeah. And they so... made mistake after mistake with their roster. Mm-hmm. And so, so the Dolphins are a very, very realistic team that could actually get him. The Bears. And so while we're all thinking like, oh, the Bears, like they're, and so don't get me wrong, them, getting, An- them getting Andy Dalton, I think we can all agree it was, you know, that like, that was, oh, you know, the most Bears thing ever yeah, in the world. Beautiful. And so, fans, and so, uh, well, hear me out. I'm not placing my opinion on the Bears just yet. And here's why. Well, mm-hmm. it would be extremely bears like for them to just say, fuck it and try to run it with Andy Dalton. That would be very, very bears like right now. But I mean, who knows? I feel like they could probably be, like, getting him as, like, okay, we have no other choice. Like, we're going to be... I mean, don't even They're going to run with Andy Dalton. I mean, like, look, that'd be beautiful. I mean, it wouldn't be. I'm a Lions fan, but... Fucking Bears. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking Bears, yeah, you know what I mean? Be, yeah. like, they can have good quarterbacks. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> like, That's Miami. A point. Yeah. Miami's a really good trade destination, mm-hmm. I think. And, bro, here's what I'm thinking is... Panthers, he's, too. He's married to Sierra. A, like, a very oh, famous... Yeah. Like, Singer, like, yeah, from from Miami. You think yeah. she wants to be stuck in Seattle versus Miami, LA, New York? I mean, dude, I hear that Seattle in March is beautiful. <laughs> it rains all day. It's great. <laughs> yeah, it literally rains three hundred days a year. Yeah, it, don't they have like one of the highest like 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 percentages of like depression like in the, like, the world like yeah, because it rains yeah. so fucking much? I cannot imagine. Dude, why. Russ Wilson's like, bro, give me a line. They're like, no. He's like, you know what? I'm done. Like, do I, it. it's like Can't rain it. this. Fuck that. Yeah, and so ultimately, I'm I'm thinking that this is a relationship that's broken beyond repair. And what's funny too, dude, this is a USC 2.0. If Russell Wilson's out this year, dude, Pete Carroll's out of there. He's gone. He's gone. He is gone. Not staying there, bro. Josh and I are not gonna put up with that shit. God, and, and you know what? That would be so interesting to see because if Pete Carroll's gone, oh my god, that is the end of the Seattle Seahawks. Well, yeah, they'll fall apart, you, which is crazy because of how long they've been good. Yeah, bro. Like, I mean, they were actually good prior to Pete Carroll too. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a, yeah, bro. I mean, Hasselback with mm-hmm. the Super Bowl. Like, um, bro, do you remember how good Sean Alexander was? Yeah, yeah, he was really good. Yeah, and they, had, they, yeah, you know, they, had, they had, you know, Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, they had that guy. Bro, well, here's my fucking. Whole, this is the whole thing. Is like Pete Carroll is just sitting in his office right now, chewing his fucking gum, like he always does, and they're just like, bro, all you got to do is literally bring in like a guard, bring in a guard. 
Just a guard. It's like, no. Can you imagine if they got, um, can you imagine if they got, what's the guy from the Ravens? Uh, the Orlando Brown. Oh yeah, they gosh. should. They should get imagine, Orlando imagine Brown. If they got Orlando Why wouldn't Brown. you get Orlando Brown? Imagine if they got literally a, Why a, you? a fantastic guy that wants to play left tackle that currently is playing right tackle for the Ravens. Th- throw Ra- Dwayne Brown on the right side. Fuck it, bro. Like, fuck Dwayne Brown. Like, he can eat yeah. my balls. Like, he's yeah. 36 and you don't play that well. You can eat my balls. Like, like oh, oh, a shitty 36-year-old lineman oh, playing no. for the Seahawks. Yeah. Oh, that's super surprising. Yeah, switch him to the right side. Fucking bring in Orlando Brown. Sign a guard and be fucking legends about it, dude. Stop fucking... Get him a tight end. Stop, you know, he, he doesn't have a tight stop end. Stop fucking this guy over and over. Name one receiver before DK that was a true, absolute threat. Do not tell me Doug Baldwin. You can go fuck yourself. Maybe Tyler Lockett. Kind of. Tyler, you know what I mean? Kind of. Dude, I'd kind rather of. have, like, Jalen Guyton. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a lie, but yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, the reason I mean, why is because we could pay him a quarter of the amount of money. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. And see, that's so, fair. Like, yeah. 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 Tyler Lockett probably has a fat contract right now. Actually, exactly. I do want to know about that. That is because mm. that is interesting with um, what you said about the relationship. Because I do think that if, like, you're just not saying that, bro, unless, like, for sure you're like, dude, I'm done no matter what. Like, I don't want to be here. And if I'm going to be here, like, basically, you're putting in a at the end of the day, it's his job. You know what I mean? You have to go to work and work with these people. So at the end of the day, we've all been in a position where like you don't want to piss people off, but there's a certain thing that needs to happen, you know what I mean, for you in order for this to get done. And so like while there's a fine line of not hurting people's feelings, once that line is crossed, I think he's like, fuck it. I'm either not in Seattle or I'm going to play for you guys and I'm not going to be cool with you. It, and also, you know what I mean? Like, this isn't like we're this isn't Phil Rivers we're talking about. Some guy that literally couldn't walk because he was he's so unathletic. Russell Wilson, he's following the Tom Brady tactics, the LeBron tactics, where he, he pays a million dollars. He retired retired tomorrow. He'll be a Hall of Famer first ballot. Oh, of course, already he would first be. ballot. Oh, of course, like no. it's not even a question. But dude. no, the, the man the man literally works out three hundred and sixty days a year. He spends a million dollars a year in his recovery. To think that this guy is going to play anything less than eight or nine more years in the NFL is just foolish. And he, so for the Seahawks to be treating him the way that they're treating him is just stupid. Let me it's read just this, stupid. Let me read this off to you real quick. Uh, he's an eight time Pro Bowler, second team All Pro. He's only been in the league for nine years a too. Su- yeah. a, super, a Super Bowl champion. Uh, the only re- season he missed the Pro Bowl was 2016. He deserved to be there. He's the NFL Passing Rate Leader 2015, NFL Touchdown Leader 2017, Steve Largent Award winner three times for Seattle Seahawks, which is basically like MVP. Uh, and like the cherry on top of it all is he's the Walter Payton Man of the Year. Yeah, this year or yeah. the past year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right so, fucking here. You know, I mean, like what could you not love about Russell Wilson? Dude, this guy just works his ass off and you guys are literally fucking him. I know. <laughs> like, he's like, just absolutely fucking, him. fucking him. If I'm a Seahawks fan right now, I'm just I would be so nervous cuz I'm like we have one of one of the best quarterback a top 5 quarterback. Oh, also Russell sure. Wilson hasn't missed a game and hasn't had a season below 9 and 7. He's missed the playoffs one time. Is that true? That's true. I'm looking at it. That's really incredible. Out of all the seasons he's played, he missed this. He missed the playoffs in 2017, and they were nine and seven. He threw 34 touchdowns with a 62 percent completion percentage. What's the name of the Seahawks GM? John Schneider. He's a genius, but he's also an idiot. Is it? He doesn't seem like much of a genius. Right he was now. a genius because he put together the Legion of Boom. Other than that, well, how long has it been since the Legion of Boom? Uh, a couple years. years. Yeah, uh, six years. yeah, they haven't won a Super Bowl <laughs> since then, so. Yeah. Well, also the the thing is like they won a Super Bowl. Holy and they, Well, people don't understand how valuable it is to have good rookies. They just, won a they won a Super Bowl because they had good young guys on the team. I just re- saw this and I didn't even realize it till about a second ago. Uh-oh, but uh, uh-oh. we got we got some. Uh, but Russell Wilson holds news. like twenty five passing records. Which ones? I. It would take up the whole show. I'm dead serious. Like. Like, 25 different passing records. First after Give me America. five. I'll give you five. Most passing yards in a playoff game by a rookie, 385. Most regular seasons by a quarterback. Wait, Ro- let's play. Okay, so this is why it's going to be. Yeah. 385? 385 is a rookie in a playoff game, bro. Which Does it say which game? Fuck no. But and <laughs> there's too many stats on here. This is what you mean when it would first, take the entire episode. First African-American to start in multiple Super Bowls. Most regular season wins by a quarterback in his first two seasons, 24. 24. There Jesus were 32 fucking Christ, games. Dude. Most regular seasons regular wins. Regular season wins by a quarterback in the first three seasons, first four seasons, first five seasons, first six seasons, first seven seasons, first eight seasons, first nine seasons. 
So basically, Russell Wilson sucks. Yeah, most touch touchdown passes thrown for the first three games of a season. 14. 14 in three games. 14? That's averaging almost five touchdowns a game. Jesus Christ, dude. Dude, can you imagine having him on fantasy? Yeah, just give this guy his respect. All right, Seahawks, I just got to say, you guys are a bunch of idiots. Give Russell Wilson some respect. All right, that's it. Fuck you, John Tanner. Oh, oh, oh.